do have flash flood watches in effect right now. They'll stay in effect until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Take a look right now for the areas in green. That's where we have those watches in effect, and that's along the Continental Divide and across the western slope. This is where we are expecting the heavy rain producing storms overnight tonight. So you'll notice that did not include areas along the interstate. Does that mean we're necessarily in the clear for the night tonight? No, it just means that the storms are not going to be as widespread farther toward the east. And Skycast certainly shows that, keeping the bulk of the activity well off to the west of the interstate. But through the evening hours, we cannot rule out a stray storm moving over the Pikes Peak region. So we'll have to monitor that as any storm that does develop could cause some flooding concerns if it moves over area burn scars. But the best chance for that happening, again, is going to be over the mountains. And we will keep the storms in place through the night tonight and into early tomorrow morning, which is why we have that flash flood watch in effect until tomorrow morning. Temperatures tonight will gradually make their way to the 60s, so with the additional clouds that we are expecting overnight tonight, think of them as a blanket. They're going to help trap that warm air at the surface. It's going to take a while to cool down tonight. Tomorrow morning, one of those days where we're going to wake up and it's going to be a bit of a gray start to the day and just a gray day in general. We're going to keep the clouds around from start to finish. Storms over the mountains will gradually slide toward the east as we head into the first part of the afternoon. Here's a look at 2 o'clock, and that's when we should start to see those clouds really thickening up. The showers starting to move into the I-25 corridor, and then through 4 o'clock, those storms will begin to intensify. Anything that develops tomorrow will be capable of producing heavy rain, which means flash flooding will be a big concern. Traveling will also be an issue underneath some of the heavier rain showers as that can impact visibilities. And watch this. Right around 7 o'clock, we get a little bit of a yellow bullseye right over the Pikes Peak region. Skycast way of suggesting we could see some pretty strong storms through the evening hours. And the reason why is because we get a cold front that moves through during the evening. So that's going to act as the trigger to fire off those storms. And we'll keep the storms around through about 9 o'clock. Temperatures tomorrow in the 80s and 90s. So temperature wise, you won't really be able to feel the cooler air right away. You'll feel it though on Thursday or on Friday rather as we drop the temperatures a bit further. We're going to keep the chance for storms in the forecast Friday again Saturday, but then we're going to taper it off as we head into the second half of the weekend, early part of next week, keeping that 10% chance for storms in the forecast. In Pueblo tomorrow, 87 degrees. We drop it to 84 on Friday. A 10% chance for storms both Friday and Saturday. And then we're going to dry things out. Comes Sunday into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're keeping it dry as well, with temperatures kind of jumping back and forth between the mid and upper 80s. Canyon City 86 tomorrow with a 30% chance for storms, 83 Friday, Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday, Sunday through next Wednesday, looking pretty dry in the Canyon City area. And in Teller County 70s will take us through the next seven days, and you'll notice we'll have that 50% chance for storms tomorrow. So we're fairly confident that we are going to get rain tomorrow afternoon. Friday, Saturday, we'll keep on that 30% chance for storms in Teller County, taper it back to 20% Sunday, and then drop it back even further Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, only a 10% chance for rain. So tomorrow is the day to watch. Yep, the day where I will probably be wearing my galoshes and <laughs> hunkering down for a busy afternoon. The purple boots? The purple boots. <laughs> That's how you know things are about to get <laughs> real. It's been like a week. I know. When she walks in with those purple boots, you know there's something oh. going on. Seriously.